The only difference from me two years ago versus me now is that I'm much more informed about health. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know to improve your health, looks, height, and overall attractiveness. Because attractiveness is just a collective of positive health indicators. For example, if you have a proper forward grown face, this is a sign that you have good myofunctional habits and tongue posture. If you're tall, it's an indicator that you ate well, slept properly, and optimized your hormones. Even your skin will indicate how good your gut health is and signs of stress, cortisol levels, and lack of proper nutrition. So in this video, I'll cover all the basics you need in order to completely transform your looks and become more attractive. Everything from reaching your genetic height potential to getting a more structured and developed face. And just for reference, using these techniques allowed me to completely transform my face from this to this. It fixed my recessed jawline. It fixed my overbite. It allowed me to grow four inches in just under a year from 18 to 19 years old, despite not seeing any height growth at all from 16 to 18. And I cleared up my six years of lifelong acne in just two weeks. And lastly, for even more reference, I do have a private school community where I help everyone one-on-one -on -one improve their looks and reach their genetic potential. And I've had some crazy transformations from that, like this one member who grew from five foot nine to five foot 11 in two months using these techniques, or like Alex who cleared up his lifelong acne in just three weeks after going on the gut protocol. And even guys like Gianni who de-bloated their face, reduced inflammation and got better bone structure. These aren't gimmicks. These are real proven techniques backed by science. Because if you fix the root cause, you will see real results. No gummies, no expensive products, just the truth. So now that you understand this, let's hop right into it. Firstly, we're going to be focusing on your facial features. This is the first thing people see about you. So it's important that you take care of your face and get proper development, especially in your years of puberty. Your entire face is influenced by four myofunctional habits, the way you chew, the way you breathe, the way you swallow, and most importantly, the way your tongue sits. If your tongue is not resting on the roof of your palate, which is known as mewing, then your entire face, specifically your mid face, starts to be recessed and it ends up making your whole face look droopy. And then if you're someone who's a mouth breather, which means you're never breathing through your nose or at night you sleep with your mouth open, then this is going to lead to an extreme amount of issues. You're going to have even less chin projection and even more recessed jawline. It's going to lead to a recessed maxilla, which is gonna cause you to have droopy eyes, a crooked nose with even a bump, and overall make you look very, very bad. The combination of these two alone is not going to just affect the way you look, but it's even going to affect the way you breathe. It's going to collapse your airways, which can lead to sleep apnea and overall cook you even more. So if you wanna actually have a properly grown face and have a strong jawline, strong mid face, high set cheekbones, and just look very attractive, then you need to be mewing. Basically, it's super simple to mew. You wanna be doing this almost the entire day. If you don't do it when you're sleeping yet, it will become a habit. Just keep up with it and it will become subconscious. All you wanna do is create a vacuum seal inside your mouth while your tongue is resting on the roof of your palate, specifically the back third of your palate, not just the tip of your tongue. To do this, you want to find the sweet spot, which is just saying the letter N. And you'll notice where your tongue is, you want to keep it there. And then you want to smile as big as you can and swallow. This is going to create that vacuum seal and suction, and then just do it a couple more times. It looks cringy, but it should look like this. And You'll notice instantly your jawline gets tighter, your hyoid skin raises so it gives you less of a double chin appearance, and then your posture even gets a little bit better. And if you wanna go a step further to actually see more forward growth and development in your face, especially if you were never mewing in your lifetime or you were a mouth breather, then you need to apply pressure with things like interoral face pushing. This is basically a combination of mewing and hard mewing to actually influence and develop your facial features. Because your tongue can actually produce a lot of force, especially the tip of your tongue, then this can help remodel and give you forward growth to your face. The easiest place to focus on when you're first starting interoral face pushing is just holding that mew position and applying extra force with your tongue. You're going to be hard mewing and actually applying a lot more pressure to your palate, which is then going to give you upward and forward growth of your maxilla, giving you a stronger looking face, higher and structured cheekbones, and even a stronger, sharper jawline that's at a positive angle. So an angle that isn't recessed. The second thing which makes you more attractive is your height because taller guys are more attractive. This is rooted in biology because if you are taller, you're bigger, you can protect a woman better. This is just basic biology when it comes to attractiveness and you see this across most animals. The issue is the average height of a guy is about 5'9 to 5'10 and the average girl wants a guy who's six foot plus. And the issue here is that only 14% of guys are actually above six feet tall. But luckily for you, most guys are about 5% shorter than they should be. Meaning if you're five foot nine, you should really be about six foot. Or if you're five foot 10, you should be about six foot two. Just most people are self-sabotaging themselves when it comes to their health, their sleep, their diet, their nutrition, their lifestyle. And it's causing you to be much shorter than you should be. Maximizing your genetic height potential during puberty will only really work if you're obviously in puberty. So usually the ages of 12 to 21. I have seen people who are 22 and 23 who had their growth plates open 
and who have actually been getting results, but that is a very rare chance that your growth plates are still open when you're like 22, 23. So really, if you're in between the ages of like 16 to 21, you should be doing everything you can to maximize your height potential. So here's how. Firstly, your diet. You should be following an ancestral diet, which means eggs, meats, dairy, and fruit, nothing else. This will include every nutrient, vitamin, and mineral your body actually needs to grow and develop. Ideally, you're eating a good amount of red meats because this contains almost every single vitamin and nutrient your body needs. And if you can, you want to be eating eggs daily, specifically the yolk. You want to keep that raw as it contains all the nutrients in it. So as you cook it, usually enzymes, nutrients are heat sensitive. So when you cook it with heat, it ends up being less effective. And ideally you cook the whites, but not the yolks because the whites actually contain avidin, which will bind to the biotin inside the egg yolks. The second thing you need to ensure is that you're getting lots of sunlight, ideally 30 minutes to an hour every single day in order to get a lot of vitamin D. And if you're not getting eight to nine hours of deep restorative sleep every single night during puberty, then you're directly stunting your growth. If you're getting like six hours a night, you're cooked. This is because 90% of your growth hormone is actually released during deep sleep, which is one of your sleep cycles. So you need to be hitting about five to six sleep cycles every single night. If you are in puberty, you should really be aiming for six to seven six to seven sleep cycles. And lastly, you need to be optimizing your hormones, not just to keep your growth plates open for as long as possible, but to also maximize how much of IGF-1 and growth hormone your body's releasing. Because if you're producing too much estrogen and not enough testosterone, then this is going to cause your growth plates to close prematurely. This is the same reason why girls who produce a lot of estrogen naturally, their growth plates close at 14 to 16 years old, but guys have the ability to have their growth plates close into their early 20s. For example, I'm now 21, I just turned 21 and my growth plates are finally closing. And you need to be producing enough growth hormone. Two easy exercises you can do with this is fasting once a week. Fasting has been proven if you're doing it for 24 plus hours to boost growth hormone by up to 700%. Even doing things like sprinting, especially in a fasted state, has been proven to boost your growth hormone by two to 300%. And if you're going to be fasting or sprinting, it's important that after your fast or after your sprints, you break your fast or you break your sprint session with raw natural sugars to then spike your insulin, which will spike your IGF-1 because IGF-1 and growth hormone synergize together in order to stimulate bone growth and development. These are a couple of the things I did, which helped me grow from five foot 10 to six foot two in 10 months from 18 to 19 years old. And that was after not seeing any height growth from 16 to 18. I had to optimize my health, optimize my living, optimize my habits. And I then started growing again. It took about two months after applying all this before I got my first growth spurt again and started really growing taller. And if you want more than just the basics on how to grow taller, especially during puberty, then check out my other video about how to hit your genetic potential. I go more in depth there as this video is just covering the basics. And the third thing that plays a big role in your attraction attractiveness is your diet because the food you eat and the water you drink actually have a big effect on your overall health. Like I mentioned earlier, the food you eat literally influences the way your body grows. If you're not fueling it with the right vitamins, nutrients, and minerals like boron, magnesium, copper, iron, then you're not going to grow to your fullest potential. And food even has a huge influence on your skin. Your gut health controls your skin. Your skin is your body's largest organ. So if you're consuming processed sugars, food dyes, seed oils, then you're cooking your gut and ruining your gut microbiome. And that's going to lead you to have acne and breakouts, which is going to cook your overall health and again, it's an indicator that you don't eat well or that you have high stress levels. And something that's not talked about often because you know they're kind of strict about what you say about this because it's almost controversial, but your tap water, a lot of tap water is not safe to drink. If you're in North America specifically, so like Canada, United States, it is contaminated. If you're in Europe though, or the other parts of the world, it's usually much cleaner, but at the end of the day, you should never be drinking tap water, even if you're in a spot with clean water, unless you're getting it straight from the mountains, I would not recommend drinking tap water. And that is because it's contained with so many contaminants. For example, the biggest one right now, which is just increasingly getting worse, is estrogen because a lot of women are on birth control pills, which is just pure estrogen. And that is being filtered, not be, sorry, it's not being filtered out in your water, which is then going into your pipes, and then you're drinking it, it's going in your drinking water. And obviously, if you're a man and you're getting more estrogen, especially through tap water, then you're cooked, your growth rates are gonna close earlier. You know you're gonna become more feminine, you're gonna have less drive, you're gonna have more brain fog, and then you're also gonna have a high-pitched soy boy voice. And it's also going to contain heavy metals, fluoride, chlorine, you know, things that are going to give you fluoride stare, brain fog, it's gonna give you less motivation. Also, if you're showering without a shower head filter, if you've ever seen what the pipes look like, I would highly recommend looking that up. I'll throw it on screen here. But anyways, 
The second you see this, you're probably gonna go on Amazon and buy a showerhead filter. And then for your drinking water, you just need a reverse osmosis system. This is going to make sure your water is pure. And you can always just get natural spring water in glass bottles. That is always a good deal too, but then that tends to be very expensive. At least a reverse osmosis system is like a hundred bucks and it lasts for like a year. You just have to change the filters or you can get like what I have because I have an apartment. I can't change my filters. I have a reverse osmosis system that just sits on my counter and I just refill it every day. And the last thing I'll touch on when it comes to attractiveness is your lifestyle because the way you take care of yourself shows, you know, if you go to the gym three to four times a week, you'll be in much better shape and it's going to be more attractive. And if you have the habit of going to bed on time, waking up at the same time, you have a good skincare routine, like you're just putting beef tallow on your face, you have a shower head filter, these are going to improve your attractiveness. And people who tend to have routine tend to have lower levels of stress because everything's planned day to day. They follow the same routine, they show up for themselves every day and they're actually consistent and they prove to themselves that what they say they're gonna do. This leads to lower levels of stress, so lower levels of cortisol, which is going to then lead to less breakouts, better hair, better mood, better energy overall adding to your attractiveness and of course this isn't as important as your facial features your height or your diet but overall if you improve your style you improve your confidence you improve the way you can talk to girls the way you portray yourself you're going to overall be a lot more attractive because what's the point of being tall and good looking without the ability to make a girl laugh you know take her on a date actually have charisma so i guarantee you if you start implementing these habits and you stay consistent with this then you will become the most attractive version of yourself it took me about a year to have my complete transformation from going from five foot ten and chopped to six foot two and at least decently attractive. I'm not saying I'm a model here, but I'm certainly a lot better off than where I was. And for you, it might take even less time, even longer maybe. It all depends on how consistent you are with everything. But at the end of the day, everything has a root issue. And if you fix that root cause, you're fixing your health, then you will become more attractive. You're gonna start looking better. You're gonna feel better and your life is going to change for the better. And if you want access to all my video guides, like how to clear acne, how to grow to your genetic potential, how to be more charismatic, to even how to grow three extra inches after puberty through pause, Posture, then you can check out my school community. I help every single person one-on-one. -on -one. It takes hours a day to do that, but it's really my life purpose to try to help as many people as I can transform their lives. And you'll also have access to weekly Zoom calls where you can talk to me live one-on-one -on -one and ask your questions and get help live. And you'll also have access to monthly giveaways where I give away hundreds of dollars to the best transformations. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I've covered all the basics that you need in order to become the most attractive version of yourself, reaching your genetic potential. Stay consistent and it will genuinely transform your life. Stay goaded. Peace out.